All right, one of the big questions since the Democrats lost the election would be would they have the guts to stand up on some issues after their whacking in the election? Well, today we learned uh, that they will at least try on tax cuts. The House, the House current majority, I'm having a hard time speaking this because I'm going to call them the majority in January. They won't be. But the majority leader, Steny Hoyer, putting out a statement saying the House will vote on an extension of middle class tax cuts before they expire. Democrats firmly committed to continuing tax cuts for middle class families, income up to $250,000. And he goes on to say, and this is the important part, they will fight on this one. We cannot afford to add $700 billion to the deficit to benefit the wealthiest Americans. Smart move, John? Well, the line in the sand has been drawn. I think politically, Democrats are trying to say, we defend the middle class and we'll leave the Republicans to try to push through tax cuts for the rich. I think the whole tax argument's changed, though, since Democrats began this debate. Uh, but it's a very smart, tactically strong move. We have a line in the sand. We know how this debate's going to go down going forward now. Yeah, you know, the, the Democrats, a lot of people said the Republicans, they're going to vote against the stimulus and get clobbered. They're going to oppose health care. They're going to get clobbered. These are the same people now saying if Republicans try to repeal health care, they're going to get clobbered. If they try to do full tax cuts, keeping full tax cuts, they're going to get clobbered. No, they're not. You know, the, most people understand that if the Democrats do this, at some point they can come for the other people's tax cuts as well. Bottom line is the reason you do this because you say... How can you guys sit here and want tax cuts for the rich when you sat there and blocked unemployment benefits, extending them? That's how you actually frame the conversation. If the Democrats were smart, they would stay on this point. And the reason Hoya came out with that comment, yeah. that was an ode to the president. You better stand with us on this one as opposed to try to uh, meet the other side in the middle.